Hi guys, I'm so happy to be able to bring you a tutorial for this little star shaped pendant today. So it makes a perfect little star shaped with the twine on each side and these stars are actually really easy to wrap for a change so because it can grab in between each point it's actually a lot easier to wrap than the heart or crescent moon. We make our necklace adjustable with the two sliding knots there and it has a little stainless steel bead that covers the knot at the top. So you can see there's a tiger's eye there. This is the stone we're going to wrap today. This is a polished agate crystal. I've just chosen a nice light one so that you can see the twine easier while I'm wrapping it. So we've got a ruler, scissors, and this is our waxed twine. So it's a one millimeter wax twine. And we've just got a little bead there with a two millimeter hole. So it's big enough to cover the twine and the knot at the bottom. We're going to just start our design here by getting 45 inches of the waxed twine. So just find the middle of your twine and this is where we're going to start wrapping our crystal in the middle of it. So just holding the twine in one hand, just place the crystal in between one of the points. And then we're going to start by holding one side of the twine tight against the crystal and then just grabbing the other side of the twine and wrapping that part, okay? So just wrapping it across the crystal, like to the opposite side of the crystal each time. And this first one we're just going to do two. So there's one there to the opposite side. And that's the second one. And then we'll just hold it there, nice and tight. And just flip it over so that I can wrap the other twine. Just see which piece is the longer piece at this point, and that's the part you're gonna grab. So I'm gonna wrap that one as well. Just wrapping it over the same points that the other one has been wrapped over so that you can start to make that star-shaped design with the twine. So you'll see which points you need to wrap over and then finishing with both parts of the twine meeting at one point so that you can tie your knot. I like to make sure that each piece of twine is crossing over from left to right or right to left. If they're going over the same direction, like next to each other, then it's going to show up on your design. Once you're happy with it and you've got crossover and you've got both the points meeting at the top, then it's time to tie your knot. So we just need to gently loosen that first part that's crossing over. Just loosen it up enough so that we can pop the other piece underneath it. And if you can pull it all nice and tight and tie your knot, it should tie the design together nicely. Okay, so we've tied our knot there at the top. Just check it to make sure it's the perfect star on each side and all your parts in between are crossed over. And then we will make a sliding knot. So I'll just check. So that part's a bit longer, so I'll just cut that off evenly. And now we'll pop our bead on as well. So just slide that over the twine and down to cover the knot. Alright, so lay your necklace down on the table how it will sit. So with the adjustable sliding knots, one on each side, so we'll just lay it down like that. Then just holding the necklace in my left hand with the tail at the back. Just going to grab that tail and pull it over the front and down through 
and that creates one loop there so I just hold that with my left hand as well and that tail goes down and through out the back now we have two little loops there so now we'll just poke that extra little tail down through the loops and gently pull that out the back and that's going to create our first little sliding knot there Then we just swap the necklace onto the other side and again holding it in our left hand with the tail at the back. So just bringing it over the front and down and through. There's a first loop and then the same again. So down the front and out the back. There's our second loop and then just pushing that tail down through those loops to create our sliding knot. So pull that nice and tight. I just snip the ends off now a couple of millimetres from the knot and then I singe them gently with a lighter so they don't fray. So there's our beautiful star-shaped pendant on adjustable sliding knots.